Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As discussed in one of my previous videos, August is the month of content. It is time for content strategies, creation, you know, giving you guys tips on content, all of those lovely things. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make viral content. In my previous video, I discussed pricing. In my video before that, I believe I talked about, I don't even remember what I talked about. I've been doing so many videos back to back to back, it has been absolutely crazy. Uh, but for the month of August, we're going to be focusing on content. Alright, so if you want to learn about content, definitely subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about business overall, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to really turn it into, you know, a business um, channel really where, you know, entrepreneurs can come and get information that they need and stuff like that. So, before we begin, just a quick PSA. If you're interested in having your business promoted on my YouTube channel, shoot me a DM at billabossja underscore ja and I'd be more than happy to assist you. I am doing the first five businesses that reach out to me for free. After that, they will be, uh, there will be a fee. Um, two businesses have already gone already, so there's only three spots left, only three available. So reach out to me if you need promotion for your business. If you need feedback, a review, a product review, service review, whatever it is, reach out, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to assist you. You can send me your products if you need to. Just DM me for more information. Alright guys, I'd be more than happy to assist you. I know how video reviews can really and truly benefit a business. Trust me. So, yeah, now that that's out of the way, <laughs> let's just jump right into this video. So as the title states, this video is going to be about how to create viral content for your business. It's going to be a relatively short video. I literally have a checklist of targets or points that you need to hit to ensure that you create viral content. Now, really and truly, what is viral content? In my opinion, viral content is content that does well online and offline. It's content that has people talking. It's content that has people engaged, that keeps people interested. It makes them want to view your page or engage with you, talk to you, interact with you a little bit more. That's what viral content is to me, really. Now, how do you create viral content? What are some of the things that you need to ensure that you do so that your content becomes viral? So I have a checklist that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Number one, you want to make sure that your posts entertain persons. What do I mean by this? It's nice to post information and stuff like that, but entertainment is what grabs persons. So you maybe want to use a meme, which is something that I've been incorporating in my business as, as of recently. You definitely want to try to incorporate memes, funny pictures, funny videos, uh, trending videos, stuff that gets people laughing, gets people talking, gets people engaged. Uh, I believe I said it in my last video that I posted last week Sunday. It's not just about products and services anymore. It's about building a brand. And I'm going to keep saying it, guys. You're not just online to sell, 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 sell. What other value do you provide to your audience? What else are they seeing? What else do they know you for? Are you just a robotic online store? All you have are products or your services and that's just it? Do you post a motivational quote? Do you post memes? Are you funny? Are you easy to talk to? Is there really a person behind this brand? Right? So you want to ensure that you post content that is entertaining to your audience. Not just you, but entertaining to your audience. That's the first checklist that you want to ensure that you tick. Now the second point or the second target is you want to make a post that is amazing. Something that has your audience in awe. Something that is just scroll stopping as I like to call it. It is just wow. When they see it, they have to stop. Sometimes I'm on Instagram and I come across a lot of scroll stopping posts. You can use graphics, pictures, videos, animations, you know. Make your things creative. Make persons want to view your page. Again, you know, as I said before. So number three, you also want to ensure that while you're being funny, you're being, you know, amazing, entertaining, all of that. At the same time, you want your post to have valuable information. There's no point in posting something where 
the information on it is not valuable. Your audience can't learn from it. They don't know what it's for. They don't know what it's about. There's no point in posting something that is entertaining, yes, funny, yes. But what really are we supposed to get from this? What really is the point of this? What are What is this post teaching? You know? Those are some of the questions you want to be asking yourself when you're thinking about making your viral content. Now, number four, posts that inspire. You want to create something that inspires your audience. You want to create something that moves them, that motivates them, that pushes them to do better. That is also a checklist that you need to hit. This reiterates back to my original point. We're not just here to sell products and services. We're here to build a brand. We're here to build a family, a community. That's what you want to focus on for your brand. Now, the last checklist, you want to you wanna create something that touch people's emotion. So, you want to create something that when persons look at it, what emotion do you want them to get from it? Do you want them to be happy, sad, angry, frustrated? Do you want them to, you know their emotions to be all over the place what emotion are you really trying to pull out when someone views a particular post that you have made so these are just a couple of questions that you need to ask yourself these are a couple of points that you definitely need to check when you are making your content um, you know you need to use hashtags some other disappointers your captions need to be on point you need to use hashtags a lot of persons underrate the use of hashtags because they're, they don't use them properly. But hashtags can really do a lot for your business if used correctly. I can tell you. I can tell you. I know the difference with Bill Boss before I used hashtags versus now. Same thing with Raina's collection. I noticed the difference. So you definitely want to maximize Instagram features and not only maximize them to the best of your ability, but know that you're using them effectively. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, leave a comment, share with a fellow boss babe, and subscribe to this channel. And do me a favor, hit that notification bell. Next week Sunday, let me tell you guys what I'm going to be discussing next week Sunday uh, before I forget. As again I said, August is content month. So... I'm going to be, let me see, I had it here, I don't know where it went, I had like a list of things, I had like a list of things that I was going to be talking about, I know that the last video for this month, I'm definitely going to be sharing developing a content strategy and some tools that you can use for that, that's the last video, but for the next video which is next week Sunday, let me see if I can find it. I already did content ideas and stuff like that. Uh, I cannot find it. Oh, I'm going to be talking about a headline template, scroll stopping headline templates that actually work. So, you know, the most popular Instagram tool now are Reels and TikTok. Well, it, TikTok is not an Instagram tool, but TikTok is very popular right now. Um, you can use headlines and stuff like that to grab your audience and stuff like that. So that is what I'm going to be talking about in my next video. Scroll stopping headline templates. So definitely stay tuned. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again next week. Remember to stay safe, stay indoors, and keep it easy. Love you.